What's up you guys, welcome to the channel. In this video we're going to do a community tour of Gubbio, Italy in Umbria. So, hope you like it. What's up everybody, uh, welcome to the channel. This is Davo and we are talking about Italian real estate. This is actually more of a community tour. I've been to this community before. We are at a piazza at the top of the, kind of the top of the hill. This is a very popular tourist site in this town. And from what I understand is that Americans don't often come to this area compared to other Europeans. Uh, Americans, when they can afford the plane ticket, usually hit up Rome. Venice, Milan, you know, the beaches, and Gubbio is in the middle of the country in Umbria, and uh, kind of to 40 minutes northeast of, of Perugia. And it took me about four hours to get here. Uh, I was in South Lombardy, uh, in my home area, and it, we hopped on the Autostrada, which is a, a highway uh, where you pay the toll usually and it took us about four hours maybe 27 euros on the toll roads i'm going to take you through a walking tour and not, i'm not going to come and do a lot of commentary i'm going to try to just show you the real estate style and as you can see all around me that's from the panoramic view this area actually extends well beyond the city boundaries all the way to the hillsides farther away the province is full of uh, airbnbs um, and VRBO listings. So right now I'm actually looking for real estate agencies. Um, I'm, I'm kind of dressed like I'm on vacation, so who knows, maybe they won't take me seriously. Now there are hotels and uh, banks and uh, notaries and apparently dinosaurs. Regular businesses pretty much everywhere. By looking at them you couldn't tell if it's a commercial building or a, or a residential building. Just really depends on the area you're in. Here's a butcher shop. Normally I can walk around and find a real estate agency really fast, but just not finding it here. Found one. <laughs> We've got Medio Casa here. And unfortunately, they're on a different location. Via La Da Vinci. And it looks like I left my phone in the house. Awesome. We are running blind here, folks. It's a network. Some fishing shop stuff. It's a few empty buildings, but these properties are pretty well taken care of. These ones will look a little bit more uh, rough around the edges. <laughs> I'm gonna head up the hill. Maybe we'll run into a real estate agency on the way. The easiest way to seem like a tourist in Italy, uh, there's actually one thing you can do. Two thoughts actually, to walk around on a chilly morning in Italy without a jacket or long sleeve shirt. And second, flip flops. People don't wear them usually out in public. Everyone would prefer to be nicely dressed with <laughs> There's just a certain laziness that comes along with wearing flip-flops everywhere you go. You know, I just passed by this and I didn't even notice it. Oh, 55,000 euro, two bedroom, one bathroom and a garden. Uh, 75,000 euro, two bedroom, two bathroom. Uh, Algrezzo, you know, I don't remember the direct translation for Algrezzo. Basically, needs work. This one, 
three bedroom, two bathroom has no price. 33,000 euro, 40,000 euro, one bedroom, one bathroom in that building right there. So 40,000 euro just barely redone. And we're gonna have to figure out what ICR means on this uh, energy certificate. So then 58,000 for sale with a garage and a garden, two bedroom, two bathroom. Interesting, these prices are much lower in general. In Central, 38,000, two bedroom, one bathroom. Cool. So we're just up the road from the pharmacy. And uh, honestly, the streets to the side of me are more beautiful than the street in front of me. But this is kind of like the main entry to get up to the top of the mountain. That's where we're going. Not top of the mountain. Up there, there's the sanctuary. Oh, by the way, if you don't know this, there are certain two periods of time which they do have sales. Uh, one of them is right now, kind of like the end of July through a few weeks in August. And then the other is basically January 6th, I think. Hey everybody, if you haven't seen the announcement already, I started a Patreon page for this channel. I decided and was convinced actually that it was the best way to give you more content faster, especially since there's such a great interest right now in Italian real estate. If you're the type who likes these community tours or these property tours, go ahead and jump on Patreon and find the tier that's right for you. I've made tiers dedicated for people who just want to support the channel with perhaps new technology or a little bit of gas as I travel down the road. Or if you're the type who wants a bit of mentorship or some insistence buying property here in Italy, you'll find that as well. What I really look forward to is the opportunity to use this as a resource for helping the community around me. Um, whether it's to help somebody in need or perhaps make a donation to a community that is looking to expand a park for kids. That's all within our power within this Patreon page. <laughs> I think it's right here. Last time we came there was like a sandwich shop there. Probably just closed during the hours but you can't tell. So, I remember last time we did have like a stroller. There are areas you can go with a stroller. There's like an elevator that gets you all the way up here. And during uh, their Sagra, Sacra? I can't remember, Sagra, Sacra, honestly. This whole plaza is full of people. Something special about today is that this is the seven year anniversary for me coming to Italy. And it's August. <laughs> I guess they're trying to celebrate with me. This big church over here. What I was saying was this was basically we're commemorating seven years that I've lived in Italy. Uh, I came in August 5th, 2013. For those of you who are new to the channel, don't know my story, we lived in an apartment, moving over here, getting married, and before 12 months even passed by, we ended up purchasing a property uh, instead of renting a property because I love real estate and I think it's a very important decision to invest. And well, in Italy, we use the auctions and uh, I've shared that property in the past. You can always go back and check it out in previous videos. So the sign's a little bit uh, worn, so I might read it to you. The current bell is the seventh house in the bell tower of the Palazzo dei Consoli. It was melted on October 30th, 1769, in the first arch underneath the square by Professor Giovanni Battista Donati. So cool. That blacksmith work. And I can't tell if these are llamas or what. This guy looks sick. This guy looks like a camel. It's probably llamas. 
<laughs> hey, we got in a fight. This one looks pretty good though. One of the most magnificent civic buildings in Italy was constructed between 1332 and 1338. This one's unique. It's like a, a rooster. <laughs> and this one, I don't know what kind of dog that is. Uh, terrier, right? No, I don't know. This one's a Doberman. This one's a camel. <laughs> okay, too much. So I have not seen any more real estate agencies, which is disappointing. So, this is full rent. Looks like I need to call Medio Casa. They've got every sign up. I personally like this look the most. Sometimes you don't notice it looks a little bit worse down here, but I like this building. Let's see where we are now. We are right there. Great. This is supposed to go up. But I'm not sure if it's public. I'm so curious how every single property is like well maintained. If the community organized it for tourist purposes, or if this area just has more money and interest in general. Because every road you walk down is maintained in the same fashion almost. There's a, apparently a train that takes you through the town show you first hand. If you didn't feel like a tourist already, <laughs> right on that. So last time I came, I never actually came up this far, and I don't know what to expect. Now would be a great opportunity for you to hit the like button, and we're going to be going up higher on the hill. You're going to see a museum and a castle, and anyway, I know this video is showing you a lot of things that typical YouTube videos would cut out. I like to let you see the whole community as it is and get an idea of what awaits you when you visit Gubbio in the future. I wanted to also let you know the reason I came to Gubbio was that I was coming for a one euro home community. Now Gubbio isn't a one euro home community but it is 20 minutes away from Cantiano which is a one euro home community. Point is, the day after I recorded this, I went off to Cantiano and I'm going to be sharing my experience there in the next video. So subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so that you know when that video comes out in the future. Thanks again and keep enjoying the video. This is one of those ducal castles and uh, they've got this beautiful terrace right out here with the garden where you can sit and have a, you know, a snack or a drink or something but uh, they've turned this into a touristic zone way up here on the mountainside. They're calling it the, like the most beautiful medieval city probably in the world. There are things on the backside, like look how, how 
uh, different it feels with us greenery around. Always so curious how much it costs to maintain a building like this. Throughout its more than a thousand year history, Gubbio has always had a circle of defensive walls to protect it, even, even in Umbrian times. Construction of the city walls has, was begun in the early Middle Ages. In Lecce, we'll be going down, they have walls circling the center of town that uh, have a strong division of where the historical center really is. I'm gonna call it quits actually. Sorry about that. I had a phone call that's saying I need to head back down. But I wanted to show you this. Right here. This is not the Basilica. There's one up at the top of the hill. So I guess I'm gonna leave this as a hey, check out Gubbio if you wanna see the top. Haha. <laughs> -ha. A little bit rude, I guess. <laughs> for those of you who are super interested. Anyway, for those of you who can't even imagine walking to the top of the hill there are these uh, little I don't know if you sit in them or stand in them honestly looks like you stand in them but these are from the base of the hill to the top of the mountain so you could stand in one of those and ride up to the top of the mountain uh, fortunately there are a few places to get a little bit of a drink of water all right, everyone, that's it for this video. Thanks for checking it out again. And just a reminder about that video coming up about Cantiano. Uh, I'm excited to share it. Not only that, there's another one year home community after Cantiano that I'm going to be sharing in the upcoming videos as well. So definitely subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you next time.